Good day, good people. It's Rusty Money here on PlayStation Network and Rusty Money Gaming on YouTube. We are here on No Man's Land with the Real Farming Challenge for Farming Simulator 22. How are you doing today? Musical Farmer, welcome my friend. How are you doing? Golden Jet, sup buddy, how are you? <coughs> I'm doing alright. I'm doing okay. Get that right there. Whoa, my goodness, Farmer Willie, how are you doing? <laughs> Harley! Farmer Dan, Diablo, holy cow, everybody's here. Welcome, everybody. We'll see if we can maintain a decent connection for a little bit anyway. I'm doing good. I literally just woke up. <laughs> I've been up for a little while, but not very long, but for a little while. So I got two fields now back here behind the trees or behind I should say our cabin house. So we got two fields right here and uh, we'll be moving into a new day again here soon. I'm going to be. I could do that just right now. But uh, I think that my, uh, we'll just go look here. Uh, we'll just go down there and look. I'm doing good just having coffee. Just having coffee. Could you show us quick the map and where you are at? Uh, Farmer Dan, yeah, this is a real farming challenge. So I am uh, just on plot 26. Uh, the original, uh, let's see, the original home plot. Um, let's see here. I wish they had a better view for <laughs> this landscaping mode, but yeah. So, this is just the real farming challenge by Southern Lady. I haven't started the build it challenge on FS22 yet. We ain't gonna do that till after we get some more mods. But this is what the farm is looking great. It, not too much really going on. I haven't really changed too much. Extended this field right here, I guess. And then I got this little spot that wouldn't show up with anything. So if you can see that little spot right there can't do anything with that I don't know just weird but anyway <laughs> I planted there and everything scorpion welcome my friend okay yeah so your field is just behind yeah just behind the original house yep so then I put a silage bunker over here and we've got uh, my goodness I can't remember like 240 some thousand or something like that liters of silage that's about compacted Got the little stone crusher thing right there. Because uh, this is with no mods. The only mod that we're allowed to use is the saddle track. And for some reason, I just noticed... Uh, I'm going to look at that quick too before I forget. And we'll come back to this. Uh, I just noticed yesterday... And I even did the uh, pre-order... Uh, my saddle track is not in here. Uh, I have it, but it's not, uh, it's not showing up anywhere. 
Uh, it's even installed. Okay, yeah, see, okay. Hey, Rusty, press L1 and the central pad at the same time to shortcut construction pays. Hope that you are... Oh, yeah, yep. Oh, yeah, that's pretty handy, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so we'll go back here where we were. But, yeah, uh... Yeah, the saddle track. I don't. Yeah, I don't know what I what I need to do about that. But anyway, not that big of a deal. Probably never would use it. But I was gonna set the saddle track up on my uh, series trailer for uh, RFT Rusty's Farm Tour. A few days. So then I got the small biogas plant right here. Uh, Cause I didn't have enough money to get the medium biogas plant and what else we got going on so I own plot 26 36 and 46 JB Agries how are you doing yeah happy new year everybody yeah so then I started cutting trees down here I got the sawmill down here I don't know. I'm not too impressed with the sawmill in 22. I'm thinking I wish I would have used the biomass heating plant. I don't know. Just don't make much money off the sawmill. But it's supposed to be the top uh, production point after so long. So then I just was starting to cut trees here and sell them. So yeah, now we're just doing field work. I got tired of cutting trees. We're going to drop that right there. I want to drive down here for a minute. I just want to see. My silage bunker is really close. Last time I knew it was like at 88%, I think. So, I mean, it's probably going to still be the next uh, game day. really would like to get some of this sold. So let's move into here. Whoops. Turn that on for a second. What are you planning putting in the fields? Uh, ooh, 96%. Awesome. Oh, we're not too far away then. Cool. <laughs> okay, we can shut that back off now. Now there's a bunch of... So, I think in this field, I can't remember, Willie, but I think in this field, I got sorghum. Yeah, sorghum in that field. I'm playing this without seasons. <laughs> Scorpion crops. I don't think I planted this other field yet. Uh, I don't think I did. Let's, oh no, I did, it looks like. This has got sorghum in it. <laughs> I don't know what I'll put in this field here. I'm thinking maybe, uh, I don't know. What's everybody suggest to put in this field? Because I'm open to any suggestions. How about that? <laughs> I got enough grass I can cut yet, so I really don't need a grass field yet. I got plenty of grass to mow that's just uh, native grass. Soybeans. All right, we only will put soybeans in there. In this field right here. Since update, silage ferments in one month instead of two happy days I think yeah so is anybody else uh, professional <laughs> anybody else not get their saddle track I don't know it's I don't know not that big of a deal like I said but I just noticed yesterday because I never looked at all till yesterday yeah I have the DLC it's paid for it's installed, all that good stuff, but it doesn't appear. 
and I believe that's supposed to be under large tractors and it's not there you have not really checked yeah I think I was gonna message Julia because I think Julia doesn't have it either and she's also got the DLC I can't remember I didn't get it for a while I didn't get it for a while but now it is for me at least Ah, I learned something new about Share Factory again today. <laughs> uh, I made that series trailer, which I was happy with my first creation for a series trailer for my uh, farm tour series. But I could not figure out how our friend at Cobbler Farms uh, got rid of the HUD and uh, made his uh, series trailer for American Prairie so amazing. <laughs> well, uh, with the help of him, I learned a couple of new things about Share Factory just this morning, and it's easy. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. I'll be on FS22 starting next week. Cool. Could get my other tractor over here and have them start seeding this, but uh, I usually been putting another uh, application of fertilizer. I'm on PS4 and have had my saddle track DLC from the start. Really? Well, that is odd. That is very odd. Because it's supposed to be supposed to be in large tractors, right, Craig? Pretty sure it's supposed to be in large tractors. I have a code, but never installed the saddle track. Not really worried. Yeah, I wasn't mean really wor worried about it, but I just thought it was something different to try. Yeah, see, it's not in here. And since it's a DLC, I would think that would be clear here at the end, but it's not there. Just weird. Weird. I have often thought about actually uninstalling FS22 and reinstalling it, but I don't want to lose. <laughs> I don't want to lose this here. So I might finish this uh, or take this challenge as far as I want to take it anyway. It's supposed to end on January 1st, which is tomorrow, but. I think Southern Lady was gonna extend it. She, I don't, yeah, I haven't talked to her, but I don't know what she decided to do. <laughs> no way I'll get uh, anything done in order to really make a good amount of money uh, before tomorrow with having to work tonight and work tomorrow and all weekend at both shifts. I don't have the saddle track, but I have not put in the code yet, so, uh, are those codes still available on the website? I was going to look at those codes and just try and see if it would let me still enter the code even though I have, uh, I already have it installed. I'm just going to re-enter it and just see if maybe that would do it. Thought I'd stop by and say hi. Great stream. Ah, oh, thanks. Why not? Thank you, my friend.
Yeah, so I gotta work. I gotta work tonight. Work tomorrow. And work Sunday. It's pretty cloudy here, so I'd assume that the little, uh, winter storm isn't far away. <laughs> I just hope everybody's safe tonight. Uh, we have a calm New Year's Eve at work. I'm enjoying both my challenges on 19 and 22. With no, oh yeah, me too. I was actually on uh, 19 late last night. Uh, the wife and the wife and kids and I played uh, a new game that our daughter bought called uh what is the meme uh that was kind of fun so it's kind of similar to apples to apples busiest day of the year for my job i'll be working till we are done earliest out was 6 p.m late was after nine wow And then after we got done playing that last night, really, I got on 19 and started to develop my new piece of land off camera. I mowed the grass, half of the plot, and then made my road up to my farm longer now. Across that new plot and bailed up 39 silage bales and sold them at the biogas plant. thought about taking that one live today, but I didn't. I took 22 live instead. I can't wait to start that, though, on, uh, on 22, though. After silage and cut beat sales later, I'll be able to pay off loan on Let's Build It Challenge, but I think I'll take it out again. Cool FS, good job my friend. I know you've been playing it a lot, but I know you also love No Man's Land like a lot of people do, so. I had a lot of fun, uh, Excuse me, I had a lot of fun creating that series trailer, which I spent more time creating my build for the series trailer than it took to record and edit the series trailer <laughs> for Rusty's Farm Tour. But I think I'm going to make another video, and it'll be a video just to kind of show you the build and what I did. Uh, make that series trailer. Started at 8 a.m. Now begins all OT. Nice. Yeah, my wife uh, offered to work today too, Scorpion. So I think she gets uh, overtime pay too. But nice one, FS. I'm uh, avoiding paying off the loan too quick. <laughs> too quick. <laughs> Yeah, but that's pretty good for FS, though, Willie, because he's on 22, so it's a lot different. It's not as easy to make uh, money off that silage as it is in 19. You still can make a lot of money off the silage in 22. It just takes a lot longer to do. Because you're using your money that you're getting paid by the biogas plant every hour. That's what is going to be different, is that biogas plant pays you every hour. I think the loan interest is also less than 22. Oh, it is? I haven't even, yeah, I haven't even really noticed yet. Yesterday on my channel, 
I did a video of a farm build and the farm is based off of a farm I worked on. Cool musical. I saw that you had a live stream yesterday. But I didn't check it out yet. What's ever I totally agree with you, Rusty. Especially on hard mode, FS22. <laughs> I can't imagine, Willie. You're being pretty daring with that deal. <laughs> That's Farmer Envoy, though, for you there, Willie. <laughs> You yeah, haven't done uh, hard mode yet. I think this challenge is actually, I think this challenge is uh, our choice, I think. Let me see, I think I'm on normal mode. Yeah, I had two, one on the farm build and one playing on the farm. Cool. Let's see here. Uh, oh no, this is uh, easy. Murphy, settle down. Oh, well, at least it'll help me get used to what the... I'm happy prices 300, peaks at 342, and January for silage, normal economy alone is cheap. Leasing, however, is more in 22. The hour relate is 50%. So, uh, when you're playing without seasons, uh, you can plant whatever crop you want, right, in 22, or do you still got to pay attention to that? Or does that even show up? Let me see here. Do you still, let's see, that don't show up, yeah. Yeah, you should be able to, uh, yeah, you can do whatever you want, yeah, alright. I just got to thinking about that for some reason. <laughs> you can play whenever you want to. Yeah. Plant whatever you want to. Yeah, autocorrect musical. <laughs> Enjoys the autocorrect. I'm hoping they are allowed to mod Geo so we have more realistic growing seasons. Yeah, that'd be nice. That would be nice. I really like this, uh, I really like this disc carol. I use this disc carol because our friend FS everybody about the rocks on no man's land so I got rid of the cultivator I think I got rid of I might have kept it but I can't remember now I can't remember if I sold it or kept it because that wasn't worth much money anyway at least more realism or more realistic for the USA yeah I just want to see some more small equipment and more sheds that's really what I'm and modded animal pins. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, when I was setting up my uh, series trailer for uh, Rusty's Farm Tour on No Man's Land, I put down some animal pins 
because that's going to be part of the the series. And man, I don't like the in-game animal, animal pens. <laughs> you can't you can't hardly even feed your animals with a tractor and a wagon. And it sure didn't make their dimensions very big. Or uh, they could have put the feed triggers on the outside of the sheds. Den Stens Murphy. <laughs> I seen some. I missed somebody's comment about Murphy. Yeah, Murphy's just laying over here on the old couch. He Say cultivate this up and put an application of fertilizer down and then uh, it's your party you can't plant what you want to plant what you <laughs> oh scorpion that's kind of funny Let's go back here to the edge now. Friends got a dog called Guinness. Could be related to Murphy. <laughs> Ah, I wish the cultivating state was a little bit different because it's hard to see, kind of. Yep, yeah, I've already been over this part. Darn it. There is a rock on the map that looks like the Titanic sinking. <laughs> oh, really? No, you have 41, Farmer William Me. Now you have 41, yeah. Where's that rock at, nuclear? Where's that rock at that looks like the Titanic sinking? I got this done. Let me check. <laughs> All right. It you know uh, even though there is some spots here on No Man's Land and FS22 that do seem to look a little bit different. Donald Brown, welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Considering this time of year is always pretty rough for me. There you go. Smoke 82, welcome my friend, how are you doing? I need some sunlight on this side of the trees. It's a good thing we got headlights that work. At least kind of see uh, what we've done a little easier. I just 
ganged another one. Cool musical. Musical, that's happened to me before. <laughs> yeah. Any moderators in the in the chat there, share out some channels, it'd be great. Yeah, we just about got this done. Now, there, really close. Yeah, thanks, Scorpion. Okay, so now, hopefully, hopefully we're still alive and our friend Bruce shows up. Usually I'm streaming and Bruce is sleeping, and when he's streaming, I'm at work. <laughs> oh, y'all, y'all, there's a lot of you that are part of the Facebook group and a part of the Discord and all that. I appreciate all the friendships that's been made over the last, uh, over the last year. So I appreciate each and every one of you. A lot of neat things people are sharing. I really like looking at all the pictures when it comes to FS22 because the the colors in the pictures are so crisp and clear. Even on like PlayStation 4, the pictures are so good. And we're not on PlayStation 5. But I like looking at everybody's uh, screenshots and checking out some new content. A lot of people got some nice new things coming. I'm still working on FS19 on the Build It Challenge. Yeah, Nicholson, so am I, my friend. Check this channel for profits crops etc good stuff uh, which one's that FS I I know the one I was watching I really learned some really nice couple things and it was the first time I ever uh, watched the channel but that was uh, Scroft and then I watched the neat video by driver 53 on uh, which one was that I think that was something to do with and I've seen Farmer Cops got one on Forestry today, but I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, there's a lot of neat videos that you can learn some new stuff about FS22. Yeah, Scroft, yeah, he's got some really good videos about stuff. And I've never seen this channel before at all until just recently. I'll tell you uh, another good one everybody that you need to check out and if uh, some of the moderators could put the link in the in the chat that would be great but you all need to check out a friend of the channel called Looney Farm Guy he's been doing some videos on a lot of different pieces of equipment in FS22 and experimenting with it and I tell you what there's probably a lot of stuff in those videos y'all might learn because I haven't seen anybody else do the stuff he's been doing hey it looks like the deer wants some fertilizer Reed, welcome, my friend. I'm not a mod, can't put channel up. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, somebody will, FS. Hold on, no. I right, drop that right there. Okay, now, we'll just double check. Field 45, just off the just off the main road. Alright, well, let's go take a quick look, Nicular, since we're not 
I'm curious at this. 45. down here and just take a quick look real fast. I really like this tractor. I'll tell you what, one of my favorite in-game tractors right here. Okay, so... Now, just off the main road. We're at 46, so we'll uh, go over this way. There's a couple of rocks right there. Oh, wait, we're the wrong way. Yeah, I get my bearings straight here, nuclear. I bet it's this one right here, maybe. Looks like the Titanic sinking. This rock right here, nuclear. Have you sold any lime yet? And is it a good price? I haven't sold any lime, FS. Is it that rock? Kind of, sort of, ha, ha. <laughs> I'm off for dinner. Happy New Year to y'all. Oh, thanks. Freed, Happy New Year to you as well. Yeah, let's see. That was at 96%, uh, wasn't it? We're going to put down our fertilizer quick. Silage. It was towards the end of the in-game day that uh, I closed that bunker, so it's got to be getting real. That rock has changed from 19. Type the name and I will grab it. Working, sorry. Oh yeah, sorry, or Scorpion, I <laughs> didn't even dawn on me that you are at work, aren't you? Hold on a second here. Give me just one second, everybody. There we go. That person can help. I left you a, a, a special blue tasty one, FS. <laughs> oh wait, we don't want lime. Oops. used to keep my land cover on top of it. <laughs> okay, let's put my fertile or my lime over here. Uh, collecting bales on no man's land. Sweet. All right, now let's get fertilizer. Look 
Welcome everybody. Yeah, I can't wait to start the Build It Challenge here on No Man's Land and most importantly can't wait to start Rusty's Farm Tour on whatever the next uh, modern maps will be. So we'll have to see how many come out and where we choose to go first. Hey, you're welcome, my friend. So, FS, if you would, uh, share uh, Scrop's channel and share uh, Looney Farm Guy. Because I know uh, Scorpion's at work. I forgot about that. If I do any more bales on my FS19 challenge, I will be having nightmares. <laughs> Yeah, I've done quite a few too, Willie. I know what you mean. <laughs> I haven't done any uh, bales here because uh, I don't have a baler. So put down our other application of fertilizer here. Touch up any spots that aren't fertilized. And then we'll put some soybeans in this ground. But we'll probably roll them the next day and then put the soybeans in. We're getting a few spots that weren't fertilized. to go sell some silage here real soon. Which I'll have to figure out how I want to sell that silage because uh, well I think we can lease actually. Uh, in this challenge I think we can lease. And I don't usually lease. I might lease something that will help me sell that silage a little bit easier so I don't have enough money to buy anything right now Okay, so we're just about got this all fertilized and we'll check our silage before we go to sleep here to the next day. I also can't remember if uh, on FS22 on hard mode it's a really challenge to get money, especially starting with only a pickup and chainsaw, waiting to try and get a tractor maybe? It's cut off, I can't see it all, Willie. I see uh, Farmer Envoy just got a tractor. Looks like he bought a John Deere one. Okay, we'll set this down right here for right now. 
Alright, let's check this silage here again. Second hand tractor. You know, that's one thing I have a yet. I heard something about <laughs> Evil Clown, welcome. Uh I have yet to see any tractors in my second hand store. Oh wait, that's the wrong screen for that, but I want to oops. Yeah, Farmer Envoy got a second hand one. Ooh, 90, still at 96%. Alright, well, might just roll. Clown, here you go. Let's see. Uh, we can shut that back off. Um, do we have a loan? I can't remember if we. No, we don't have a loan. Alright, good deal. No loan. I don't want a loan either. Um, I'd hate to start seeding that. We're gonna go to sleep, I think. Hate to start seeding that, cause it's gonna be get nine minutes for silage. That's all it takes to get from 96% to 100%. FS is nine minutes. Oops. Shut the tractor off there. Is that all it takes? If that's nine minutes, then we'll just uh, maybe go cut down a couple of trees real quick. Uh, turn that back on. Rabbit Rob, welcome. How are you doing? Okay, yeah, 96%. Let's see. Okay, we'll wait and see if that doesn't change. 4% an hour? Awesome. Yeah, we'll just wait then that, so we can sell some yet this day. Okay, so what I'd like to see about maybe leasing is... Uh, I'm doing pretty good, Rob. Uh, where is that at? Um, let's see. Let's see here. Is it this in here? Uh, yeah, it's this one right here, I think. Yeah, it's this one. I'd like to see about leasing this thing. How much is that to lease? 5000 That'd probably be pretty handy. Wait. Wait to the next. How about, uh, what is it to, first off, let's see, uh, what do we got in the store? See, I only got two items in the store right now. These two, worthless. Um, uh, what about, uh, let's see, where is, okay, wheel loaders, that holds at 8,000, 8,000, uh, off work for a few days, sweet. How much is that? To, I can buy that piece at least. Uh, what's it cost? To... One thing I have found on FS22 I've been able to load and unload pallets a lot easier and faster. Yeah. 
more practice too. <laughs> uh, wheel loader, where are you at, wheel loader? Oh, there you are, Southern Lady. How goes the farm? Oh, it's okay, I guess. You know. <laughs> um. How much is this one, Delise? Five thousand. I can do eight thousand. It's almost better to. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Combinations. Okay, that one would attach to that. Okay. Front loader login attachment is awesome. Yeah, I used it in my uh, series trailer FS. <laughs> it works well. <laughs> you can even pick up more than one log, but you got to have something to push against. We're getting really close to that changing over. Well, we can sell that. Start to sell some of that. What should I do? Should I, should I lease that trailer or just lease a wheel loader and haul the silage over there by buckets, 8,000 liter buckets? Because if I buy, if I lease that trailer, I'm going to have to load it with my front loader tractor. Belts will probably be cheaper to lease. Yeah, but I'm not gonna buy belts to reach clear over to my biogas plant. Unless I lease the belts to load the trailer. I've never done that before. I've never used belts at all. Don't leave until... Silage site site is ready. Don't leave until site is until silage is ready. Yeah, I'm not leaving until silage is ready. Um, let's see. Belts. We need the mill. <laughs> we do need the milling machine, don't we? <laughs> Oh, yeah, so we need, uh, see, I could buy that piece at least. Uh, what's this cost? Uh, is this the net? What piece do I want then with this uh, $5,000 one? Do I want this $18,000 one or the 38000 I would assume I could load the trailer with this one. Uh, let's see, what's that to lease? Only 900. Ooh. That might be the way to go. Buy the trailer and lease this stuff. Belts are awesome, but to keep it going, you now need to run a worker in it, but that's cool. Really? Do it the hard way and use it. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do, really, because some of you know me way too well, and I'm really, really conservative when it comes to the money and a challenge. I'm really considering on maybe just leasing the trailer and the wheel loader. I'm not a big fan of the belts, even though I haven't used them. Going good, thanks. Just watching the fires up north of me here at the time of year we have to... Oh, no, not good, Rob. 
38,001 and little one connect re reduce angle to 5% and put worker in. Okay, well, let's go down here anyway. Uh, next thing would be is I wonder if that auger trailer requires so much horsepower. I didn't even look at that. No machine is option on PC. Oh, yeah. Okay, Rob. Thanks. <laughs> That's all right. I'll, I'll stay here on the cool side. Okay, let's see, uh, yeah, let's get down here to the store first. Shut that off. How you doing, ma'am? All right, let's see. New fridge installed. Ooh, the, the kitchen's coming along, Scorpion, huh? <laughs> Ooh, 280 horsepower. Uh-oh. That's what I was afraid of. What's her name? <laughs> her name's Michelle. <laughs> Farmer Willie. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, right? One of many mods, yeah. Wow, so I don't have enough horsepower for that trailer either. Okay, well then I know what my answer to my problem is going to be. Well, it's not a problem. Belts better than milling machine for silage clamps. You can leave a trailer filling while doing other stuff. Yeah, FS, I learned. Uh, yeah, I like how you got your salage bunker set up by your BGA. <laughs> oh, man, that's some, that was some great thought there. Okay, so I think what we're going to lease here, everybody, is I'm going to lease, uh, I'm going to lease the wheel loader because I don't have enough horsepower for that trailer. Good golly, Rusty, you fall out of bed? I fall out of bed? Why? Why did I fall out of bed? Okay, uh, yeah, we're gonna, cause, uh, let's see, we can buy, do I want to really buy that? I don't think I really want to buy that. Well, we could buy this piece. It's 6 a.m., blah. <laughs> It's, uh, it's 10.57 a.m., Stephen, <laughs> Stephen, <laughs> let's see here. Yeah, we'll just lease it. Feel for Giants, only 10% of mod pass, so 90% of their, t yeah. Well, I heard somebody talking, um... What's the front loader logging attachment? It's this one right here. Oh, I don't know about this one, I guess. This one might be the one FS was talking about. But just the standard, uh, this is the one for the wheel loader. Uh, but the one for front loader, it works well. 
and the one for the front loader is uh oops that's a great bail spike also oh cool yeah the one for the front loader this log fork right here works really well Okay, so we lease that. Okay, now I hit the wrong button. So now we're going to lease this thing right here. Alright, well that's what we're going to use for our silage. But let's... Uh, we gotta move the tractor back up to the farm now. Cheers, I would keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, Southern Lady, if you're still here, what, uh, what have you decided about the challenge? How far? Are you going to extend it, or are you going to just take the ending date off? A great ending date, if you're looking for a new ending date, and just be, uh, extend it until Giants comes back to the office and brings us more mods. <laughs> Alright, let's get this tractor down here to the farm. Get it, uh, just parked up at the farm here, and then we'll go down and teleport down and get our field loader and bucket. Silage fork, I mean. Uh, will the silage, will the silage just disappear on me? I'm not, I don't, not playing the seasons, so. If I was to load my silage up in a trailer and put it over here in a pile by my biogas plant, would it disappear over time? I'm still here. Sorry, I didn't hear. Uh, extending the challenge, Southern Lady. Uh, have you decided on a date? Or what do you uh, What are you thinking you're gonna do? Okay, let's shut that off. We'll just keep it right there for a minute. Let's go down and get the wheel loader. Okay, now, what I don't know if we uh, might need is, are we going to need a weight? I want to think we'd need a weight. Ah. Might need to wait though. Nothing disappears. Seasons is dead. Long live seasons. Man, this thing moves. It goes faster than my tractors. <laughs> So the reason I had to go this way, everyone, if you're especially not familiar with the biogas plants, the little biogas plant, you can't dump out in front of it. You have to dump uh, in that uh, dump point so it's off the ground. So we had to use this thing, or use this or use a auger wagon that silage in, but the auger wagon uh, requires too much horsepower and I don't have that yet. So we'll just do 8,000 liter buckets because uh, it's a small
from all biogas plant anyway. I'm not even sure how much it will take. Or terraform a ramp to dump point. I don't know, Evil. How close would it let us terraform? That's not a bad idea either, but you know, I'm really new to this terraforming thing on 22. <laughs> I don't think it'd probably let us dump or terraform very close, and I'd hate to mess that up. You can dump on the ground in front of it, I think. I can, uh, yeah, on the medium ones you can, Scorpion, or FS. The small one, I'm pretty sure you can't. I've seen it in uh, Farmer Cop's video about biogas plants. We'll find out, though. Okay, so then the other thing is is I would assume that that little trailer we can put silage in too. Yes, uh, extending this challenge until the 21st of January, so if anyone else wishes to do it, they have time. Oh, okay, cool. All right, it does. Okay, good deal. He did not try. Oh, he did not try? Oh, okay, well. I wouldn't have necessarily had to lease this then. If I'd have known that. I guess I should have just tried it myself. Ooh, it don't hook up to the wheel loader. See, a lot of things don't hook up to the 22. Farmer Envoy challenge is enough for me. <laughs> Willie. <laughs> Best part of waking up is Rusty's live stream and Folgers in your cup. <laughs> oh man, that brings back some of the memories of the old Folgers commercials. They used to be on TV all the time. You don't get a dump signal on the small one anyhow. Really? Well, hey. Hold on, everybody. My dad's calling. Hold on a minute. Hello? Hey. What? All right, I am back. I'm back for now, anyway. My dad wanted me to call my mom. <laughs> my dad must be getting on my mom's case, but anyway. My dad wanted me to call my mom and ask her if I was bothering her yet. <laughs> so I don't know what my father is up to, but anyway, I tried calling mom and she answer her phone, so she's probably busy in the kitchen, I suppose. Alright, let's 
get in here now. See if this is, this has got to be getting close to. Got to be getting close to changing for us. I'm really excited about getting this sold here. Oh yeah, sweet it is. Okay, so we can shut that off then, and we can open that up. Awesome. Well, here goes my first silage in FS22. First ever silage right here. Alright, we'll load this trailer up here and we'll just go see if we can dump it. Oh man, if we can dump it in front of there, that would be nice. It'd be really nice if we could pull that trailer behind this thing and then I could carry another 8,000 liters with me. That's all right. I like loading stuff, so it don't bother me to use the, something to load with. All right. So there we go. Now let's just go see. Let's hope it's worth it, unlike my potato harvest on Elm Creek where I had to spend 5k to rent a harvester for 3k. <laughs> that don't sound good, evil. <laughs> the only thing I don't know if I'm going to like in FS22 about the biogas plant is uh, it only takes around 30,000 liters anyway to sell you will have to take to the shop oh yeah that's all right but we can roll to the next day can't we roll to the next day and then uh, Oh, see, it does give me the dump icon. Hold on, now. We gotta go in here, and we gotta turn activate silage. We can roll to the next day, FS, and sell more. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy about being able to do it that way. I wouldn't have needed that wheel loader, but at least having that wheel loader, I can load the trailer faster instead of uh, instead of a thousand liters at a time. So that's all right. Sweet. Well, let's fill that biogas plant up then. I didn't even pay attention to how many liters this trailer holds. I didn't even look at that. So we'll keep going until we can't, and then we'll sleep, and then we'll go to the next day, and uh, load some more, and then we'll sell some at the store. Because like I said, I got a lot of it here. Gotta go, Rusty and everyone. If I don't uh, hear from you guys before, oh yeah, you too, Willie. Have a happy New Year. It's way more fun to do a thousand liters at a time. <laughs> oh, I've done it before, Evil Clown. I did it. I don't know how many times on Fells Run and 19 with the No Mods Challenge, trying to save money. So I know, and that was only that was less than a thousand liters at a time. 
That was just with a tractor and a front loader bucket. Yes, just keep it going 24-7, roughly 70% of its capacity a day. PDA would give info if you look at plant. Oh, okay. So this trailer must hold just about 16,000 liters then. Because it doesn't get uh, completely empty that. Twelve thousand, okay, twelve thousand one hundred liters. I guess I could be picking up a bucket full with the tractor, but that's all right. I kind of went around the rock the wrong way. I should uh, go back there the other way so then I can just pull back out instead of driving back around. This is 24, so we'll be able to do another, almost another trailer. Yet. I've been trying to play with uh, not playing with automatic start, so I keep forgetting I gotta shut everything back off. Cause I used to, I always usually play with automatic start. Yeah, sweet. I like this wheel loader. Love the way everyone is set up. It's different. Oh yeah, right? FS? Yeah. Have you seen my, uh, have you seen my setup with the ch build it challenge on 19 FS? I really like how that's turned out. Bruce, there he is. Bruce just woke up everybody. <laughs> nah, he's probably been awake. Who knows? Welcome, my friend. We're just selling some silage here at the biogas plant. Oops, forgot to shut it off again. Welcome to the land of the living. <laughs> Thanks, FS. I'm going to put two farms on the Build It Challenge on 19. That's what I'm hoping to do. It'll take a little bit longer over time. Just finished eating lunch. Oh, yeah, I guess it is that time, ain't it, probably? Well, it's only 11.18 here. All 
All right, let's dump some more into the biogas plant here. Oh, it doesn't just stop. It wasn't dumping anymore, so I mean it was dumping, but it wasn't taking it, so it must be full then. Now watch a new season of Cobra Kai on Netflix. Silage, 29,993 liters. Okay. Full, now look at plant. Yeah, okay, so here's what we got. 33 liters of digestate, which isn't very much, but a missing Missy B slurry yard, which hopefully that we see that coming soon because I don't like spreading slurry and digestate I'm not a big fan of that evil have been busy with the kiddos fast forward an hour hey yeah that's not a bad idea evil But we're supposed to play this challenge in real time, so we'll keep it that way. But we're only going to, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to sleep, get to the next day, and then do another load. Yeah, you need uh, 24 times 840 a month to keep it fed. FS is full of knowledge about that biogas plant, let me tell you. Okay, let's uh, just go in here and go to sleep. Probably should properly shut our door. We don't get no bears coming in here eating my donuts. <laughs> we'll go to sleep. Ready to eat brunch or something? Starving. Oh, hey, look at that. Wow. Actually, well, that's not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. We're now up to 34,000. But, you know, we got that lease cost that came off of there, so we would have had uh, probably about $41,000, but we have that lease cost, so... Alright, now let's just look at the plant. So we have 3,000, almost 3,800 liters of digestate now. That door isn't going to keep out the bears if they wanted it. <laughs> and I think I forgot to shut the door. <laughs> now that we think, think about it. Uh, did I shut it? No, I did shut it. Okay, good deal. It'll it'll keep Bruce's gaming out of the out of the cabin though. Until he decides to break the door to get my donuts. <laughs> All right, let's load up some more here and get it sold to. Uh, we should. Uh, what I should do. What I should do is not with this tractor, but with this tractor. Let's drop that right there. Before we get too far into what we're doing here. Only thing worse than a bear in your house is the 
Hamburglar. <laughs> We'll go up here now, and uh, we will uh, get this tractor seeding some soybeans in that field over there. Okay, now what's uh, that's a great track. I like this tractor too, FS. I do. Can you check your finances to see what payoff on sold silage was per day? Maybe a cheaper option to self-load by leasing the. Yeah, we'll do that here. Uh, let's see what's the icon for soybeans. There it is. get this guy started on this here okay let's jump right here all right now let's look at that uh, what you were talking about evil and let's see Okay, uh, sold products in September, 29,320. Okay. Harvest income, uh, last, let's see, no, that's not, let's see, yeah, that's right, yeah. Harvest income, biogas plant, 4,610 in September, October, $7,063, so a total of about uh, 11000 so far it probably not uh, I don't know how that would farming sins welcome my friend how are you doing it's only from midnight yeah that seems pretty low But that's all right. Welcome, everybody. I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Just playing a little farming simulator here before lunch. So let me stop in here pretty soon to get myself some lunch. Which made some pulled, uh, made some barbecue pulled chicken in the crock pot yesterday supper last night so that sounds pretty good for lunch make myself another barbecue pulled chicken sandwich biogas doesn't pay as well I'm discovering that fast Bruce <laughs> So I wonder if selling the side, wonder what it, you know, I'm not good at making this, well I'm not saying I'm not good at, but they're time consuming, but uh, I wonder what uh, the biogas plant would uh, relate to an income just selling the silage to Alien Jim down at the store. How much of a difference there is. It won't until the slurry yard comes out, right, Bruce? Yeah. 
to max profits in BGA might but might be another option yeah you know I think you know like uh, isn't there some other sell points you can sell silage at uh, like uh, I've been selling all my bales to AJ yeah like um, let's see here Cell points. Uh, does the biomass heating plant take silage? That don't look like it. You can manage with the loader bucket as only 20,000 lies a day needed, but price in store in January. Best price in store in January. Okay. Just trying to see if there was anything else that sold you can sell silage at doesn't look like there is huh yeah I don't think so unless we do it uh Animal dealer. Let's see, um, uh, oops, production. Oops, bakery. No, I ain't gonna be able to sell it there. Carpentry, dairy. Grain mill store price good check in price page is yeah, store price let's see actually the biogas plant pays better but not by much really 515 to 498 that's not really <laughs> not a whole lot more is it Bruce <laughs> not a whole lot more 515 to 498 and that and that's easy economy too is what it is <laughs> yeah it is <laughs> kind of like uh kind of like doing those sugar beets evil <laughs> let's just go see because i'm not let's see let's get out of there let's load this back up again Oh, you know, though. Uh. Oh, yeah, we don't got evil. We don't got ali alien gems. Uh. We don't have, like, the straw barn. I wonder what the straw barn would, uh, relate in price at. Biograss price is only if you don't own it, it's just yours, so you are being paid for its product, not the silage, yeah. Cobbler! <laughs> Welcome, Cobbler. I was talking about you at the beginning of the stream there, my friend. It was all good though. Let's 
that pan and zoom thing for how you made your series trailer and got that figured out that's pretty slick I knew how to do the pan and zoom for thumbnails but I didn't know you could do it for video clip I didn't know how that worked but got that figured out now that was easy J.H. Agri Photography. Welcome, my friend. How are you doing? Thank you all for being a part of Rusty Money's live barnhouse chat here with everybody on No Man's Land for Farming Simulator 22. Oh, yeah, Cobbler. It's really easy. So I would assume that you have to at least apply that if there's a if there is a uh, split clip so you'd have to apply that to every split clip I would assume but it's kind of neat how that applies that to each clip but I only did it to my uh, I just went and tried to re-edit my uh, existing series trailer of course I didn't save it because it messed it all up with my stickers, but I just wanted to mess with it, so I was just messing around. And anyway, Happy New Year, everyone. Gotta get ready. Keep on farming. Really enjoy it. Ah, thanks, FS. We'll see you later, my friend. Let's sell this load here to Alien Jim. Make it a little bit quicker. Uh, oh, it must sell over here now, don't it? I bet. I'm used to selling it there. There we go. Hey, at least we get the money faster this way. Yeah, Happy New Year, y'all. I have four hours to go this year. I got a lot of hours. Too excited, really. <laughs> 4,000, my guess. Godspeed. Yeah. Backwoods. <laughs> Long time no chat. Backwoods. Welcome, my friend. Thanks for stopping in. It's Backwoods, Bruce. <laughs> Backwoods 201 Gaming, my friends, is one of the two gentlemen that I was in a multiplayer with that inspired me to go live and create the Facebook farming simulator challenges so that was about a year ago now <laughs> uh, exactly almost a year ago probably <laughs> because I released the Facebook group a year ago on New Year's Eve I was going pretty good my friend Hopefully people checked out my American Prairie trailer. <laughs> uh, did you read my community post, did you, Cobbler? <laughs> uh, your American Prairie trailer, my friend, is uh, it's really good. 
Especially to know that you made that on Share Factory. It's been a year, Rusty. Yeah, it's been a year. That's right, Bruce. It's hard to believe, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Well, let's load up some more of this here. That $39,000 now. Not too shabby. Not having any problems with the uh, silage bunker now either. So that must have been part of one of those updates. I didn't pay attention to what they all were about. This is the first uh, silage or I should say the first bunker silage I've made in 22. Oh, I accidentally got out of the group because I got new phone. I will do new request. Okay, cobbler. New phone. I I'd like to get a new phone, but oh man, that stuff's just so expensive anymore. I really like uh, I really like this wheel loader and the mechanics of the loading. And all that seems so much e so much uh, more smooth and quicker at the way it's uh, way it operates. Let's see. Approved cobbler, if that was the one I just approved. <laughs> I need to make a road, paint in a road over here. Yeah. All right. Good to know. Now I just gotta remember that. I'll forget that. I'll be like, Cobber, who are you in the Facebook group? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was still full. Or full. We sold a little bit anyway. So I wonder, is there a trailer? Is there any trailer that will hook up to the wheel loader? Man, that'd be pretty handy right now if we had a trailer hooked up to that wheel loader. Oh, we can pull uh, 8,000 liters, uh, or have 8,000 liters on our wheel loader, plus pull the trailer down there to store to sell some silage. Gotta go to dinner and enjoy the stream and all the best to you. All fantastic. Oh, thanks, Cobbler. You too, my friend. Let's just load this bucket up. Or the silage fork, I mean. Really? 
really actually have cleaned out a lot of this bunker already. Kind of surprised at how much we've cleaned out. But when you can load it at 8,000 liters a time, it does make a difference. We're going to sell another load down here. Hey, so we're start, I'm starting to see more money, you know. That's a good thing. $39,000. Uh, can't really think of anything I really need. Ooh, you know what we should look at? Oh, yeah, what we should look at. Oh, look at there. <laughs> First tractor I've ever seen in the second-hand store in my experience on FS22. Very first tractor and it's one of my favorites. Oh, wish I had some more money. I'd buy that thing. Yeah, we can take out a loan, but then I gotta pay that loan back, so I'm not gonna take out no loan. That's no fun. I'm still plowing at one meter, too, so maybe I should invest in a bigger plow eventually. <laughs> you just you just had to Bruce didn't you because you know I'm playing without mods on here yeah just rub it in my friend just rub it in I will say that that thing is pretty slick though because I was using that on uh, my other game save for No Man's Land when I created the series trailer for Rusty's Farm Tour that thing works pretty slick There goes Al Alien Jim flying overhead. Six thousand, six thousand buckaroos. Not too bad, really. Wonder what the price is now if it's changed any. Let's just look here. I gotta run out with the grandkids to eat and pick up some fireworks. I'll eat. Oh, thanks, Evil. So 515 to 498 yet. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. Yeah. up here and get another load of silage. See ya. I don't know if I want to keep selling it down there or not because it's really... sure if I want to keep selling it all down there or sell it at the biogas plant over time but then I don't have an empty bunker and I got all this other grass here I can mow 
put in there to make another bunker full of silage so I think maybe I should just keep selling it because then I can refill my silage bunker to make more silage again and just keep the old biogas plant full as long as I can keep it full so yeah I think that's what I'll probably do I'll just sell it all down there to Alien Jim, but uh, also keep the biogas plant as full as I can keep it. I have a bunch of silage to sell today. Yeah, <laughs> I got a bunch in here. It's like over 200 and some thousand, like 247 or something like that. I got all this other grass yet I can still mow so I think that that's just yeah just keep selling it so that I can make another bunker full of it plus a bunch of wool and tomatoes now what I could do what I should do what I could do actually everybody is what I could consider doing that uh, FS did is I could uh, buy another one maybe um, like let's just say any of these I'm not gonna place this but I'll give you this example of what FS did on his uh, save on no man's land is he put his salage bunker like for instance let's uh, turn this like right here and then he got himself a conveyor belt auger system stuck it in his bunker and it was continually loading his biogas plant when it was empty worker on it to empty out a silage bunker very very uh yeah <laughs> pretty slick idea I never even gave that any thought but I could do that too so then you really don't have to worry about your biogas plant it just keeps uh, operating silage because your workers spilling it every time it gets low So I could, you know, I could always uh, get the money to put down another one, put one over there by the biogas plant, plus have this one here at the farm, have two bunkers of silage, and uh, have one for the biogas plant and one just to sell at the store. I could do that too. I have 100 bales stocked. Oh, how, so how many bales can you on 22 groups hold? Do we have that answer yet? Is it still 200 again? Which I've never, I've never held that many before. But I think that's what it was in 19 was 200. But That's a lot of bales.
Yes, it's still 200. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, Bruce, so I don't think you were here earlier, but, uh, so I got the, or maybe I did say that, talk to you about that, but I got the Saddle Track DLC with pre-order, and it shows it's installed, but it don't show up in my store. Now, I haven't, I guess I haven't checked to see if it shows up in my store on Elm Creek or the French map, but at least here, it doesn't show up in the store. Which I don't know if I'd ever use the saddle track, but I just noticed that yesterday. Might have to check that on the base game maps and just see. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Because all my other DLCs are... Are available. Yeah, it is, Bruce. Yeah, it's not there. I just don't get it. But it's not in here in large tractors. Not in there, and my uh, little DLCs right here are in small tractors. They're there. And then the Black Anthem, it's right there, but the saddle track is not showing up. So, I think what I thought about doing was, actually, is when I get done with this challenge, which I'm just going to do it till the 21st and finish it out, whatever I finish with, but uh, maybe uninstall FS22 and reinstall it. I don't know. Just weird that it's not there. Because I don't have any uh, anything else really saved on FS22 right now other than this. Alright, so let's go down here, and uh, I think I'm going to farm and Steve. Welcome, my friend. How are you doing? <laughs> Good to see you. Welcome, everyone, here to Rusty Money's live barnhouse chat here on No Man's Land for Farming Simulator 22. We're just selling a lot of silage and uh, got a worker... Uh, seed in a field of soybeans. We should probably check on that worker just to see how far he's made it. Let's go up here and uh, we'll do that. See how far our worker has got with... Uh, That field. Put that right there for a minute. Ooh, he's already made it that far. Wow, cool. Driver 53. <laughs> ah, I'm doing pretty good, my friend. Thanks for stopping in the stream. Let's see how full he is yet. Oh, he's still 52% full. Alright. Well, he's still moving pretty good there. Alright, so then let's... Uh, 
Let's keep going here. Smoke 82 with the lurking emoji. <laughs> Fields of sorghum are growing really nice. Just be yourself, Steve. It's easy. Oh. So is Farm and Steve gonna go live? Is that what I missed? When is Farm and Steve gonna go live? Yeah, how is Driver feeling? How is Bruce feeling? Bruce was under the weather too, I think, yesterday. Lifelong Patriot. Happy New Year, Rusty. Ah, oh, thanks, Lifelong and Patriot. Happy New Year to you as well, my friend. Let's load this up. I'm off, guy. Wish me luck. Ah, oh, so you going live right now, Steve, or what? What did I miss? I missed something. <laughs> yeah, he's doing his giveaway in a minute or so. Oh, okay, Bruce. Sweet. Do we gotta be present to win? <laughs> Later, Steve. I'll be in. Yeah, I'm probably gonna quit stream here in just a few minutes anyway, because it's lunchtime. I'm getting hungry. Some pulled pork chicken sandwiches are so think gonna taste pretty good. Some old chicken sandwiches. Had to enter the giveaway. Yeah, yeah, I think I did, Bruce, so All right, let's go sell this load down here. Great stream, Rusty. Ah, later. All right, Bruce, we'll see you later. Yeah, everybody. So we're gonna take this down to the store here, and I'm gonna sell this, but uh, from Rusty Money Gaming here on YouTube, I wish you all a happy new year and a safe and healthy one as well. Towboat Fish, <laughs> welcome my friend. I'm just getting ready to finish up my friend because I'm getting hungry. It's lunchtime here. But I appreciate you all that have been watching and I hope you would leave me a tasty one on that like button which is better known by myself as a cop battery and you all people as a donut. Don't forget to leave us a delicious comment and don't forget to share a box of donuts by sharing the streams and the videos with your friends. So, for Musty Money here, everyone, I wish you a happy new year, and see you all on the flip side, everybody. Have a good one.